Hello again, welcome back for another daily Bind of Isaac Repentance. It is March 28, 2024. Oh boy, here we go. It's the challenges time now. It's the challenges. We're gonna do some easy ones, I think, first here. CD here is HSG4BN09. One of these give me a ruin. I think this gives me a, like a Yara or an Allergist or something. Something. We get Curse of the Darkness. It's another curse, right? Oh, we got a different curse kind of going on here. Okay. Okay. Ah, it's done. All those marks are done. Now we just got these challenges and the secret challenges, and then we just got to find the items, and then we got 100% again. Yay! Haha! <laughs> exciting. I think it's, I think it's exciting. I think I think it is. Weather has been warming up nicely today. Destiny 2, huh? So they're playing Destiny 2. I'm excited. You tell the enthusiasm I got there being so excited with that excited pill. And no freaking dice, huh? To start out with. That's cool, I guess. Some light-hearted run. I didn't want to pick up those other soul hearts in case I get hit here. Didn't mean to pick up the one. Anyways, oops, yep, 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 yep. That's why you don't take pills anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding. Pills are fine. Pills are cool. Pills are awesome. There we go. Got to do some lifting later today, too. Yep, burrs. Oh, it's okay, so I can't see my health. What well, my health is exactly. All right. Well, I'm going to be definitely going for some angel deals. That's for sure. Another excited pill, huh? I'd rather not. Okay. I don't know if, like, Black Candle would fix it. Okay. Would fix these issues or not. Little Chad is okay. Not the biggest, okay. Not the biggest kind of wow factor for a familiar. No shops on this run, okay. How am I gonna spend my hard earned cash though, game? Hmm. Find a burger. Is that it? And just like that, we ruined our deal. I don't even want black powder. That's incredibly silly. Okay. Well, fortunate for us, we got some stuff out of that. Uh, I'm going to hold on to this strength card. To give me the strength I need for this fight. You know what? Let's pop it. Fuck it. Who is my ghostly friend? It's the lighter one. It's the one with the slight blue tint to him. Blink and you'll miss. You'll miss. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
He's been spooked by the spooky, spooky familiar. Frick this, man. Tears up. Okay. And do we want to look for a secret room? This where it gets a little sticky with these things, right? And it could be in a couple places. This is a weird one. I have a weird feeling that that wasn't the case. It's probably on the right side, the left side here. If not underneath the item room. If not, while well, it's in a weird spot and I don't care anymore at this point. And I forgot that there's a freaking tenor rock there. Silly old me. Silly old me. It's been a while since I played this challenge. Just a basic pre-repentance challenge. Oh, that's just nothing ominous there. Used to be enemies back in the day. Until the enemies have been despawned back into their hellfires. The hell lands. At least we have a little ghostly friend here to help us. Got some new clothes today, too. Well, not new. They're used. I mean, I got them from <laughs> Goodwill and Salvation Army or whatever. I mean, it, they, they have a good variety. Like, you can find some pretty expensive brands. Like, today I seen that they had a, uh, a Banana Republic shirt or something. Not in my style but that I was wanting, but it's it's there, you know? Because I want to come back and get it. I even got like an Eddie Bauer like shorts a while back. Not bad, like quality. And that's kind of like, it's not up there to the quality and the expense as Banana Republic, but it, it still has some price to it. It has some quality to it. Like, I like the flannel with uh, Eddie Bauer. I have, like, oh, two shirts, two flannel shirts from Eddie Bauer. One I got earlier this year because there was, like, a big clearance. They're trying to get rid of stuff. And I wanted to get this blue shirt, this blue flannel in particular, and they had a special on that. It's, I mean, they have a special that's going on right now for that, but the problem is it's not on my size. It's way too small. The largest size they have is a medium. That's way too small. Too small in my taste. Where are my keys? There are my keys. There's my keys! So yeah, I uh, picked up... Well, I mean, I picked up some stuff at... Uh, I picked up some dis, uh, some pants from Old Navy recently, too, a few days ago. And they have like a big 50% off special. I think they're trying to get rid of old inventory, putting the new stuff in or something. I'm like, well, you know what? These great... Dress pants are nice. I have dress pants, but I don't have like a variety of dress pants to kind of like mix and match with things. So. Plus these are like not baggy or anything either, which usually is an issue with pants. Bagginess. I have a weird feeling this is going to be right over here. Okay, it's not. Weird feeling has been dissipated. All right, I'm done looking. You just made up my mind, game, not to look for any more super secret rooms for this run. Unless I feel like it. Unless I got the 
freaking skills again. I'm losing my magic. Okay, and I lost my devil deal, which means I've already lost like all my soul hearts at some point. That's cool. Well, this is, uh... Oh, this turned out to be a challenge, huh? Okay. Don't worry, we have a 1.4% chance. Can you imagine if we got it? Could you even imagine? Could you even fathom if we got it or not? Okay. We did get keys. I forgot about that. Like, I need damage. Like, yeah, tears, great, you know? Getting more tears. Tears with fears, you know? All right, I'm going to pour myself some tea. A little bit of raspberry. A little bit of raspberries. Come on out, you son of a gun. The bones are coming out to roost. Kill, kill, kill. Secret room, maybe? Oh, ho, ho. It's coming back to him again. He's starting to believe. I need more than just tears, game. Were they supposed to be warming up this weekend, too? Some more? <laughs> Hopefully, we're done with snow. I had a shovel the other day, right? And funny enough, by the end of the day, most of it's already mounted off the sidewalks by itself. Pavement and stuff like that. So it's like, the question comes down to is like, did I waste my time or did I not? And the answer may shock you. I'm gonna say slightly no, because you know, you still had people walking on it and in it especially post postal workers and all that stuff don't need to be trampling that mess everywhere and plus i don't know if there's going to be any more snow or not too so like we had a short stint of it fortunately lifting last night i thought i injured my hand i don't think i did injured injured it like i did like three years ago three years ago i injured my hand i forget what it's called it was like a long name for it basically it was a it's a sprain of some sort and i had to do rehabilitation exercises and i couldn't lift for a few weeks and so i thought that's what happened so I was like, shit. So I was just, you know, sleeping. I got up the next morning, uh, this morning, and it's like, okay, I feel fine. I'll sleep. So I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. The last time I've injured it was I was doing the, uh, that's a tears up. That's fine. I was doing, uh, um, farmer walks, but... I'm doing farmer walks now, but the difference is I'm not using dumbbells. I'm using a hex bar. I feel like with the hex bar right now is like, it reduces the likelihood of me twisting in a weird way. Like there's, there's still an opportunity to just like mess up if I twist too fast, but I'm not going to get into the way where it's 
it pro I don't think I'm gonna have a problem where it's like I'm going to end up tilting forward or backwards or side to side with a barbell with each hand as opposed to like a stabilized bar I, I like the stabilized bar more too the thing is I can't like do my farmer walks out in the hallway because the bar is way too wide it's like a lot wider than the hallway outside so I've been doing kind of small it's, oh yeah range that's cute um so I've been doing some uh farmer walks in my in my place instead short steps kind of stuff not the greatest thing I'm, I'm getting some kind of a workout out of it but yeah if i had like more space i could travel travel further without having to turn around so many times So when it warms up a little bit more, I'm going to be going outside and doing it. But then I'd be have to take the uh, plates separate with the other thing. The plates separate with the bar in order to fit it outside. And do it for the summertime and whatever. Perhaps spring. Well, more likely spring because it's going to warm up more and more over time. I mean, we got a lot of daylight now than what we did. Normally, it's like four, you know, normally at like a four o'clock months ago, it was like, oh, it's dark. It's cold. It's miserable. Today it hasn't been so bad. Today would have worked out okay with doing that, but I did it yesterday, so. Doing some more lifting today, too. But those, those are going to be like more lines of just kind of indoor stuff. Farmer walks is ideal outdoors. You got a lot of space to work with. Well, I guess depending where you're from, right? For me, it's like I have more space to work with because I got, I got like a long sidewalk. I could test out the hex bar outside. Because I was doing, yeah, the barbell stuff for a while until I got injured. And that was kind of okay, but yeah, th but then again, it's like when I was having too heavy, too much heavy weights, I was tilting forward a lot. And sideways and everything else with like, like there was an imbalance. So to speak, there's an imbalance of trying to balance myself. The bar should at least keep it stable in a weird way. Because barbells, it's like they're not attached to like in a hexagon bar, right? So it's it's more prone to just like move around freely. Which is great for like certain other exercises. I mean, you can still use a barbell for like farmer walks. It's just for me, my just preferences are going to be a little different now. At the time, I didn't have a hex bar when I was doing it. Um. The most I got was between 156 to 170 pounds, something like that, I think it was, around that range. That's my max weight. Now, the benefits of having the bar, um, the dumbbells over the bar, the barbells, whatever, dumbbell, barbells, potato potato <laughs> um is you can focus on having just the one and you can just work on like one side or something if you want to switch it up 
Now that's what I kind of did too, for a bit. Switching it up. I need a damage up for goodness sake here. Tears is fine, it's just, damn. With all the items in the game, you think, hey, here's your damage up. Well, we got an 18% chance with an angel deal. And this is our reward is uh, more nonsense. Okay, cool. <laughs> This divine protection is supposed to protect you from the evils of this world. That's cool, I guess. Last floor. I need, like, flight to get over there. Something or bomb so I can clear out. Nonsense. Okay. Well, I don't need a deal anyways, because, like, I'm not really aiming to go to the boss rush <laughs> on this run. By any means. I guess we'll get this with us. Take this with us. Maybe... Okay. Could you imagine we find death certificate? It's only a matter of time until we do. It's only a matter of time. So yeah, we we can play this guy. Because we're so tiny. We're so itty bitty. If that's a chaos card, we can kill mom and be done with the run. That exciting. What are you? Ancient recall. Stars card. World card. Friend finder is okay. Definitely not the damage I'm looking for. Oh, you're dead. I called it, dude. You're dead. Haha. <laughs> I don't know why I did that for. Okay. Just check to see who's in here. Hello. Knock, knock, mother fricker. Time to take your medicines, you little shit. Good pill. Whatever kind of pill. Not a bad pill. Okay. These plays are outrageous. Strength card, temperance card, reverse emperor, justice. Temperance, strength. I'm gonna take the strength card with me.
believe in yourself. See, that's... That's the kind of... Oh, look at that. It's that trinket I just unlocked. I'm going to take the endless nameless in case, like, this card gives me... It gives it gets it back to me, this cards. You know? Heart of the cards, Yugs. You have to have the heart in your in the cards in order to win this. Who are you shooting at, my dude? You shooting out of me? You almost died, you know that? Death is coming for you. The devil card. Now we're gonna get the strength card. Gives us an extra heart. And it did not proc. My heart was not for the cards. I'll admit this has actually been a challenging run here. I'll get a shit, I need to like stop getting hit though. Oh, we lost an ally. We lost him in the fight. We're gonna miss him. Not really. We're miss him in spirit, I guess. If I feel like it. Just got hit there. All right, we won. This is my reward. A coughing fly, dude. Oh, Hagalos is the ruin. I see. Okay. Well, I mean, that's uh, still an unlock. Nonetheless, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.